what is a container image? Well, at the end of the day, a container image contains everything that's needed to run a container. So the follow-up question might be, well, what do I need to run a container? If we think about containers as these isolated and sandbox environments that run using only the files in that environment and nothing installed in the host, well, the question is, how do we get those files into that environment? Where do those files come from? How do we share those environments? And that's where images come in. So images are these standardized packages that include all the files and binaries and OS packages and libraries and again, everything else that is needed to run that particular containerized environment. Two important principles to, to think about and remember as you're thinking about images. First off, an image is immutable. Once I create an image, I can't modify or make changes to it. I can only create a new one or I can follow the second principle and that's of adding additional layers to it. So images are composed of layers and these layers basically represent file system changes and each layer either adds, removes, or modifies files that might have been there previously. So what this allows me to do is as a, for example, Python developer, I can build on top of an image that already has Python installed and configured and then add my own additional files and dependencies on top of that without having to manage Python itself. And so it again allows you to, to set up some interesting architectures where one team may be creating these set of base images and then I can then focus on what makes my application unique. So in fact, if, if we look at Docker Hub, we've got it filtered based on the Docker trusted content and specifically a category called Docker official images. And these images are ones that Docker creates and supports and maintains. And we'll see a variety of different images within this category. So for example, Memcache and Redis here, these are ready to go images. I can just download these images and I can run them as containers and I can have these services up and running pretty quickly. Well, Python, I'm probably not just gonna download and, and run Python. I'm gonna use that as a base where I might then add my own Python files and add, install my own dependencies, et cetera, from there. In fact, this sample Docker file, we'll talk more about Docker files later, but shows what this might look like. In this case, I'm starting from Node. So this is gonna be a Node-based application. It already has Node installed, and we'll have Yarn and NPM and a lot of the other package management uh, pieces in place. And again, I can just basically bring in my files, install my dependency, set the default command if, when I launch the container here, and I can focus on my, my specific needs. From here, then I can build the container image, and within a couple seconds now, I have a, an image then that I can distribute through Docker Hub or a variety of other registries. And again, that image contains everything that's needed to run in this case, a node-based application. And so whether I'm running that on my machine or a colleague's machine or out in the cloud somewhere or an on-prem data center, it doesn't matter. The application's gonna work the same way everywhere. So again, this image contains everything that's needed to run my application, which does mean that now if new security vulnerabilities or updates are needed, I'm gonna build a new image rather than go out into my production environment and, and patch everything there. So again, think about images contain everything that's needed to run a container, and then the container is that isolated and sandbox environment that's running my application. And the two together helps ensure that my applications work the same way everywhere, and I no longer have the, well, it worked on my machine problem. Now that you know a little bit more about images, you can find instructions below on how to search and download and even inspect and, and find out more details about images. Take a look.